Paris Hilton. This glamour girl is on every list worth knowing. Ever wonder where the Hilton sisters learned to become the jet-setting celebutantes? Meet Paris's mother. Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Hilton. She's the matriarch of one of America's richest and most envied families. And now Kathy Hilton is taking 14 ordinary people and making them fit for New York society. We've got a lot of work to do. They're quite the group. Cowboys and showgirls, clerks and copycats. And they all would like to be a Hilton. I want to trade in my blue collar life. I want to I be, want to be, I love to I be. want to be. I want to be. I want to be a Hilton. But can they live up to the standards of New York's elite? Those bubbles, they feel so good. These hopefuls have no idea how to act around wealth and class. From their clothes. She looks like trash. To their manners. Uh, to their speech. What is it called? Etiquette. 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 Oh, my God. Kathy Hilton has arranged for the ultimate makeover. She'll put them through a crash course in the finer things. From fine wine and cuisine. Very good. To fashion do's and fashion don'ts. They will compete in challenges to test their new social skills. In the end, Kathy will select the one deserving contestant to win the ultimate prize, a brand new life. The life of a Hilton, with a fully furnished Manhattan apartment, a new wardrobe, jewelry, and a $200,000 plus prize. Plus access to the Hilton Rolodex, connections money can't buy. Who will impress the mother of all socialites? Find out on I Want to Be a Hilton. I'm at home. This is my life right here. Fourteen contestants have received invitations from Kathy Hilton to meet in Manhattan, the epicenter of American culture and society. Their first stop, New York's landmark destination, Grand Central Terminal, where they will begin their quest to live like a Hilton. If I was a Hilton, it'd be everything you want. You know, you don't have to wake up every day and you gotta worry about paying your bills, so you can actually enjoy everything the world has to offer. I want to trade in my blue collar lifestyle for the good life. No matter what, I'm definitely going to be altered by this. Physically, mentally, and hopefully socially. Hello. How you doing, huh? I'm good. What's your name? Johnny. Johnny. Hello, Johnny. I think it would be great to be a Hilton because they're able to help out family and friends. I'm living with my mom and dad in a mobile home. I would love to buy my parents their first home and I move into the mobile home. Being a single parent, I'm basically living every month, check to check. I think Mrs. Hilton and her family understand that there are people who are not as fortunate as they are. I can't wait to meet her. I would love to be a part of everything of this social life. In order to impress Kathy Hilton, you have to know about fashion, cosmetics, products like, you know, like me, you know, like I just use so much product. I'm from Long Island, New York. I'm a receptionist, and I want to be a Hilton. I think that Kathy Hilton's friends all live, you know, the high life. Now, I would love to live that lifestyle, too. This is just more than I could have ever asked for. It's just unreal. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm an Irish dancer hoping to dance my way into high society. I want to meet the Hiltons, make good contacts, and get advice about how to climb the social ladder in my real life in Vegas. What's your name? Yes. Me, yes. Miss England. No, you bet. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're in trouble now. <laughs>
I'm Ann, and I'm from Tampa Bay, Florida. I am kind of approaching this the same way I would approach a pageant. I mean, this is a game, you know? I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Only me right or wrong. Ping to wrong, call quam hentai. Tun me me one tongue. The first time I saw Ann, I was a little taken aback. Cause she just went into song like she had some kind of sickness, like she couldn't talk, she had to sing. I didn't know what was coming next. With the group now assembled, it was time to take their first step into high society. This guy in um, tuxedo approached us and it was just like, whoa. Good afternoon. Please follow me. Mrs. Hilton arranged for a private cocktail party at one of New York's hidden treasures, the Campbell Apartment. Few people ever get to enjoy this exclusive landmark, but then again, very few people are Hiltons. When I walked into the Campbell apartment, it looked really elegant. I had never been in a place like that before. I knew that this thing was going to be off the hook. With a buffet of fine cuisine and all the cocktails they desired, the contestants are left to their own devices. It's a little test to see how much work it will take to get them ready for their life in high society. Little do they know that they are being watched by none other than Kathy Hilton herself. I've never tried caviar. It just made me cry. I couldn't even see. It, it was just horrible. What is that? I don't know, something. I ain't eating that. There was about three things that I'd never tried before, and I don't think I'd eat any of the three again. Not without Tabasco. Give me another drink. I need a drink. Letitia, you know, that second shot had her on her rocker. <laughs> Where <laughs> Dear, Kathy has seen enough. It is time to get started. When Kathy Hilton first walked into the cocktail party, I was like, oh my goodness, there's the jewel of the evening. Fabulous outfit, and the shoes, ooh, definitely her shoes cost more than our mobile home. <laughs> Hi, everyone, I'm Kathy Hilton. I'm so excited and so happy to see you all here. I know you come from all over the country, but you have one thing in common, a dream of living the good life. I have a little gift for all of you. Each one of you is getting a silver spoon. Now, if you have a blue ribbon, you're on the Madison team. And if your ribbon's green, you're on the park team. This is a spoon that Kathy gave us, and it was to determine what team we were gonna be on, Park Avenue or the Madison Avenue team. I'm a Park Avenue girl. I've never had a silver spoon, so I'm kind of wondering what it's worth. Each week, you'll be learning a different facet of life at the top, and we'll be setting up special challenges to test you on what you've learned from etiquette to style to culture to dealing with the press. And trust me, my family knows a thing or two about that. <laughs> so I want you to work hard, watch your back, because if your team loses, you're going to be meeting with me to find out what went wrong. And I'm going to be writing a list of who will continue with us. And unfortunately, each and every time, one of you won't be on it. And at the end of this adventure, one of you will win a whole new life in this extraordinary city. But before you quit your day job, I've been watching you. And between you and me, we've got a lot of hard work to do. Let's get started. I've got limousines waiting to take you uptown to your beautiful suites. So get some rest because your first competition is in the morning. Eva, I've got one thing to say, Kathy. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I hope you're gonna teach me everything I need to know to meet the high life. I've already got the basics in place for being a socialite. Hopefully, my team is gonna listen to what I have to say. There was some serious ass kissing, but when Yvette busted out with that silver spoon comment, I was like, you, you must be kidding me. <laughs> 
Mrs. Hilton arranged for the teams to have separate penthouse suites at the historic Melrose Hotel, built during the Roaring Twenties as a haven for wealthy debutantes. Times have changed. into our suite and I was just, just floored. It is absolutely gorgeous. Nice. This is paradise here. Yes. Kathy Hilton had gift baskets for us. Guys, this is only the beginning. I know. Oh I'm God. very excited. Okay. I was very happy to be on Team Park. We got an awesome group. I don't think there's anything we can't accomplish together. <laughs> to Park Avenue, so Park Park Avenue. Avenue. may we never leave, huh? May yeah. we never yeah. leave. I'll drink to here, the here. While Team Park was rising to the occasion in fine fashion, across the hall at the Madison Suite, it was a far less cultured affair. To kick in the green team's ass. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, 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 Are you talking to me? Oh my God, look, did you see the look? Am I heavy? No. We have a hillbilly, a singing diva, a pizza boy, and a British Gucci. We are in trouble. Oh, yes. Finally. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get up, everybody. Game on. OK. Good morning. Please join me at the 21 Club at 11 o'clock. Looking forward, Kathy Hilton. What, what is the 21 What's Club? The is it a gambling place? Do you know what it is? I have no idea. idea. You're from Maybe New York. Are you from New York? What is it? You should know. Come on, Johnny, don't What is it? I don't go to the 21, 21 Club. <laughs> For those of you not in the know, the 21 Club is one of New York's landmark restaurants, second home to many presidents and luminaries. Hi. Hi. Are you ready for your first challenge? Yes. Now, the first thing you need to know about the life you're after is that you never get a second chance at making a first impression. In five hours, this room will be transformed into the most beautiful dining room where I'll be entertaining some of my closest friends. Tonight, both teams will be joining us for dinner. You'll be judged on your manners and style. So to show you how it's done, welcome to Etiquette Boot Camp. This is a crash course given by some of New York's top etiquette pros. But when it comes to etiquette, I've got a few gems of my own. We are not part of the Clean Your Plate Club. Don't cut your steak into 35 little pieces. And most important, just relax and be yourself. Oh, there's just one more thing. When you're living the good life, you would never go to a party without bringing a gift for the host. In that case, it's me. <laughs> but here's the twist. Your team selects the shopper for the other team. Park, you choose Madison, and Madison, you choose Park. Let me know when you've made your choice. I want somebody that has no style and absolutely no etiquette. Jade's so smart. Jade doesn't have a style. Yes, yes. He sounds like a cartoon character. When he goes to buy it, he'll just be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Park, who did you choose? Over much deliberation, we've gone ahead and decided with Jade. Jade. Ooh, good choice. Now, Madison, who did you choose? We choose JW. JW. Yes. OK. That's $100 for each of you. $100 does not go very far in the city. So be creative, OK? See you all later. OK. Have fun. Bye. Oh, you want to try something? Best luck to you. I'll see you. Oh. I started out shopping for a present for Miss Hilton. How do you get to 2nd Avenue? This way? One block? I'm from Joshua, Texas. About all I know about New York is that there's a lot of money, women, all the good stuff. If, if I won the game, it'd be like a dream come true. OK, I got 100 bucks. How about that? Ended up buying her chocolates, about four and a half pounds worth. Can you do a name somewhere or something? Sure. What do you want on there? Kathy Hilton would oh. be perfect. With the K or with the C? K or C. Yeah, that's something to know. 
Team Madison probably picked me because they thought that I probably had the least amount of knowledge in shopping for somebody that's so extravagant. Because, I mean, I've, I've always lived in a small town, never really been in a big city. It's, it's given me a taste in my mouth that I want, and I, I mean, I want it bad. What's the name of this place? Takashimai. Wow. I don't have places like this in Mississippi. I'm looking for something like a little flower arrangement or something. While I'm shopping for Miss Hilton Gifts, my teammates are back at Club 21 just getting pounded with all this stuff about, you know, etiquette and stuff and learning how to, you know, be etiquette. How to be etiquette? Clearly the experts at the 21 Club had their work cut out for them. They had only one afternoon to teach the contestants the manners and skills required to survive the high society dinner competition. Um, we're standing outside the entrance to the 21 Club wine cellar right now. Let's go in. You'll see on either side some selection of some of our customers' private stock wine, including wow. Elizabeth Taylor, yeah. Richard wow. Nixon. Wow. So you should always handle the glass by its stem. You should not be touching the bowl of the wine. Watch your hand on the bowl there. I loved it because I even know how to hold a glass of wine. I'm going to show you the little process that uh, we call the five S's. See the wine, just swirl, just sniff it, sip the wine, swallow. Why do you pick it up on the step? Because you want to see the color. Failure, failure, <gasps> failure. In order for your hand temperature to not change the temperature oh my of the dear. wine. Oh dear, so bright and so pretty. Here's the wine. Cheers. 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 It has something inside too. then taught about the do's and don'ts of fine dining for one of Food Network chefs, Tyler Florence. The first thing we're going to try, you guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. Flip your lip, one, two, three. It's snails. That's our go. Now, the reason we're bringing this out, if you're at a nice restaurant and escargot is something you would never order and then never in a million years you can try it, you know, you really have to give it a shot. We're going to work with these guys, OK? You want to sort of manipulate the shell, OK? And then Dun, 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 dun. Just put it down, just put it down. Isn't that great? Bravo, very nice. It's an acquired taste, one that I have not yet acquired. All right, we're actually going to pull lobster out of the shell, we're going to crack the claw, right? If I am in a situation where I am going to be at a very fancy dinner at a very nice upscale restaurant, I, it's good to know. And what we're going to do is we're going to take sort of the meaty part of the claw right here, right? And just give it a nice little break. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Don't... <laughs> what stuck with me was definitely how to dismantle your lobster. All right, Jared, how's the lobster? It's like it tastes like bubble gum the last <laughs> <laughs> Lobster flavor bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> At the 21 Club, I was learning about the cheeses and whatnot. The next one on the plate is a domestic goat cheese. And the common question we get a lot is, is how do you cut the cheese? <laughs> I forget which one, the malwa, whatever the freak they call that thing. Like, it's just kind of like nasty. It's not for you? No, that, that ain't for me, man. back from shopping, I was the first to get back to the room, really hoping that, you know, I got the right stuff. How did you do? All right, let's see. Those That's are good. These are beautiful. Those are good. Beautiful. Said, there just you go. like something real sweet. Petite, small. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I got oh, chocolate. Dog. Did you write that? Did you write that? No, she wrote it on there. Is that how you spell her name? Who wrote that? Who wrote it? What did you write on a gift? I wasn't bummed out by Jabe's gift selection. I mean, the chocolates were fine. How it was handwritten with permanent marker on the package was totally tacky. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jay, do I need to dress you? Attending dinner with Kathy, I knew that I was going to handle this one, but I was a little nervous about what my other teammates might do. But your vest don't match with your shirt. That's what I wear to all the funerals and weddings and everything. You ain't going to a funeral <laughs> or a wedding. Where are your slacks? Oh, yeah. oh what? Oh, these are... And you got your cowboy boots, I take it. My good ones, though. Don't take what I say personally. I'm not your mama. I'm not here to babysit you. Latricia is a very opinionated person. I don't see any stop to that. I see it only getting worse <laughs> and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Chardonnay goes with chicken. No, Pinot. No, Pinot, Pinot Renal. We all look fabulous. Okay, you know, so a little love here, a little park. love. Thank you, Let's go oh, park, Jesus. okay? How much time we got left? Oh, about five minutes. 
Yvette gets up and goes and says she has to get ready. I'm like, what is going on? Me too. You're, you're my girlfriend. I am your girlfriend. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> Those baubles, they feel so good. Oh. It's unbelievable the way these people are acting. I've tried to be like, hey guys, come on. This is a great opportunity. They're already being brats. For the first competition, Kathy Hilton and her husband Rick are throwing a dinner party for the best of New York society. Just want to thank all our friends for coming this evening. Please enjoy yourselves. Cheers. Here, here. Team Madison was the first team to arrive for the dinner competition. We were all dressed up, you know, to the nines, getting ready to impress Kathy Hilton and everyone else at the dinner table. Wow, you all look beautiful. Handsome, gorgeous, clean shaven. Yes, ma'am. We practiced for hours, learning about cheese, wine, and etiquette, and I was just dying to put it into practice myself. There's a little twist here. Only one of you will be joining us for dinner tonight. When Kathy said it was only one person going to dinner, I was mortified. <laughs> For the first competition, Kathy Hilton and her husband Rick are throwing a dinner party at the 21 Club. A group of heavy hitters are assembled at the head table to judge a series of five challenges. Culinary expert for Queer Eye, Ted Allen, Access Hollywood host, Billy Bush, and His Royal Highness Prince Dimitri of Yugoslavia. Only one of you will be joining us for dinner tonight. Wow. Jabe. You'll be representing Team Madison in tonight's competition. Jabe will sit at the table with us. He will have an earpiece. You all will be right over here where the monitors are. You'll be coaching him and helping him and applying what you've learned today because he was out shopping. Now, unfortunately, only one of you will be joining us for dinner. And as soon as she said that, Bro, I was like, holy shit. it's me because I missed all this stuff. And that will be JW. With their teammates watching and coaching from the other room, each team's representative was sent into dinner alone to face the judges. JW, you look great. When we had Vanessa doing all the talking to him through the microphone, and Vanessa with her nice, soothing, calming voice, she was just kind of walking him through. So I got my earpiece on, you know, and I'm trying to listen to her talking to me, and I'm trying to also listen to the conversation and stay, you know, relatively sane. Hey, hey. Hi, how are you? This is our special guest, JW. When JW first walked into the room, you could see the look of fear on his face. It was clear. And Mrs. Hilton, this is uh, for you. This is absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you, thank you. Well, come sit down and join us. How did you come up with the idea for the gift that you did select? You know, you go to a dinner party, you know, think a nice compliment was wine, you know. And, that is you know, flowers so for an elegant woman, you know. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Dave, how are you? I'm doing great, how are Good. you? Good. You look great. Thank you. Oh, you've got my present here. Oh, wow, this is heavy. Yes, ma'am, it is. Thank you. I went shopping today. Aww. Excuse me, sir. Here at 21, you need to wear a jacket. Oh, OK. James, did, did you bring your own personal valet with you with the jacket? <laughs> he came from Texas. That's, that's cool. Oh, cool. And you've, are, you've signed this? Yes, ma'am. This was expensive chocolate. This is going to last me a while. Who buys a woman 10 pounds of chocolate? She's like going to bust out of her dress. Why don't we have JW select the wine? Ask the waiter or the sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, really, I'm really trying to, I really don't, you know. You know what? What sounds good with lobster? Sounds good with lobster. So just ask the waiter, do you have a nice suggestion for Chardonnay? OK, do you have a nice suggestion for Chardonnay? Perfect I think choice. That was not a... Jay, what and, sort of a wine would you recommend? For and we're seafood? eating lo uh, seafood. Yeah. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Order Chardonnay. Order whatever you How about a Chardonnay? Yes. Woo! Tell him the stem, the stem, the stem, the stem, the stem, the stem. Hold the stem, stem. With your finger. Stem, stem, stem. Swirl. Swirl it. Swirl it. Swirl it. Swirl it. Swirl it. And then sniff it. Sniff it. Go, boy. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm in. Yeah, thank you. 
I did look around to see who hadn't spoken on the microphone and I did say, Alan, do you haven't spoken? Do you want to say something? I didn't want to grab the microphone because for a second I said, well, what am I going to confuse him more? You know, you don't want to confuse somebody. Okay, it's okay. I said no. I didn't think I didn't think that you were even going to show up at this wow. point. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Pull her chair in close to her. JW met my sister Kyle. You look lovely. You look lovely. There you are. You are so late. I thought you were showing up. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. All right. Good job. It's nice to see you all. Billy. Do you like lobster? I guess we'll find out. I like crawfish. Stab it. No, no. Jab. My team, when I was at the dinner, needed to just sit back and calm down. I'm sure it's exciting, but they have no clue what that came across like. Oh, that looks wonderful. I've never had them. Never had you them. haven't? If you're right-handed, put the fork in your right hand. <laughs> there you go. Get it? Stick the fork in it. Pull it out slowly. Pull it out. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Thank you, thank you. you. It's something you acquire a taste for. So I want you to dig in and enjoy. First of all, I'm not eating snails, period. I can't do it. Absolutely not. It's gross. Escargot. Oh, Escargot. Oh, Have you ever had this before? No, ma'am. This is going to be a first. Escargot? Escargot. Snails. Snails. They have snails in Texas. Yes, sir. We just don't eat them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. It. There you go. Pull it out. You got it? There you go. Yeah, yeah kid. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Okay. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Mm. Would you like to make a little toast? I sure would. Stand up. I sure did. First of all, I'd like to propose a toast to this beautiful woman that's brought us here from all different parts of the U.S. The opportunity is the great. The opportunity is just absolutely unbelievable. I'm so excited to be here. Great. I've played football in front of thousands of people. I was the toughest I've ever had to do, ever. Now, Jabe, this might be the appropriate time for you to give a little toast. How do you feel about that? Sure. I'd love to give a toast. Ladies and gentlemen, could we just have a, just a minute? Jabe's going to make a toast. I would like to propose, a toast, like to propose a toast to Miss Kathy Hilton. Hilton from the Madison team for this experience. And without you, and without you. I don't know that it wouldn't be possible. It just wouldn't be possible. Say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dang, I screwed up a lot of things, but I'd have been better off choking that thing out of my ear when I walked in. I thought it was fabulous. What did you think? With the conclusion of the dinner competition, the teams wait anxiously in the next room while Mrs. Hilton deliberates with the judges. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. I mean, I would, actually, but I'm, they wouldn't fit. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, Kathy then called everybody back in, and she was going to announce the decision for the winner. OK, Park, Madison, it's decision time. Comes down to all these proper things, and you know what, handshakes, kisses, freaking my fork. My friends and I watched and observed you all. We have decided that the team that wins tonight is Park, Madison, it's decision time. My friends and I watched and observed you all. Jabe, you should have worn a jacket, and the next time, I would suggest a gift card. JW, you were hesitant with ordering the wine, but otherwise strong. However, it's impolite not to at least try a dish served to you in front of the host, even if it is snails. We have decided that the team that wins tonight is Team Park. <laughs> You will be traveling by private jet tomorrow <laughs> to go to a vineyard for a special wine tasting. Oh my God. Thank you. 
Safety Madison, tomorrow you'll be meeting with me. We will discuss what went wrong and who was responsible. Unfortunately, one of you will not be on my list, and we'll be going home. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. The prize we learned was to go out to a vineyard by private jet, which was just completely surreal. Oh, oh baby, so this is good. I'm getting real this used so to this. Bad. Never flew on a private jet. It's going to be fat. I cannot believe this is happening to me. Let's go. I just want to uh, propose a toast. Ten days ago, I was caddying at a golf course, and I know we were all working our asses off somewhere else. Here's to us. Let's have a great day, huh? Okay. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Coming to the vineyards was really extravagant. I think it's all part of the high life. We've been given a tour by the original creator of this vineyard. I'm just learning about wine. I'm more of a Budweiser man myself. Grab what you want. Yeah, it's probably like a raspberry bit of grape. Yeah, it looks good. I thought lunch was really peaceful and serene, and it was kind of cool getting to use our skills that we learned. Stand up, JW. A little MVP right now. We got the What's team up? to beat. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. This was not my lifestyle two weeks ago. No, no. large, baby. Thank you. Yeah. But rather, something that you aspired for your lifestyle to be like. Very here, here. nice. Mm. I think the biggest deal and what they're looking at is composure. And I didn't keep mine together. The one to blame for last night, I would think, is Jay. You know, he's a really nice guy and everything, but I think he got really nervous and it, it, it kind of went like, he, he made a lot of mistakes. Right. I don't really feel like they're gonna expect you to know all the stuff that they just taught you. You can't, you can't learn that stuff like that, that fast. Crash sure course. I mean, you, but our weakness was, we just, we didn't keep it together. We did get a little excited. We did start yelling. If we want, really wanted to find fault in each one of us, we can, you know? Absolutely. It's, you know, all of us, oh my god, I did this. I'm going to be eliminated. I have a feeling that it's going to be me. It could be <laughs> yeah, any, one could be any one of us. I know, and any one of us. Would you stop that? And it doesn't necessarily have to, it doesn't necessarily have to be from last night. It could no. be from the, the time we got here until, up until exactly. right now. But, I feel like I'm going home, honestly. You, you, you got to be always strong and positive, you know what I mean? Because you're not going to, if you're going to be like defeated and you walk in there defeated, it's over, it's done. You lose automatically. Somebody got to leave. Well, as bad as it is, yeah. still beat shoveling pig crap, though. Mrs. Hilton sends a limousine to take Team Madison to the residence for a meeting to determine who is staying on and who is leaving the island. The island of Manhattan, that is. OK, let's be realistic here. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win this competition. Is somebody watching me over there? I just hope to God that I don't get eliminated because I don't feel like I've been given a chance yet to prove myself. But it could be my team. That's my downfall. I think that the reason I might be going home is depending on how people felt about how I did at the dinner. I don't want to go. I really don't. Hello, Team Madison. Hello. How are you? OK, you all know that someone is going to go home today. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Jabe. Yes, ma'am. Obviously, you were in the hot seat last night. Sure. You did make quite a few mistakes. Do you feel that you should be the one to go tonight? No, ma'am, I don't. I will take some blame for some of it, because I was nervous. Right. But if you've ever been to a high school football game and stood in the middle of a bunch of cheerleaders, that's what you would have <laughs> heard in my right ear. Johnny, now you were very quiet from what I heard on the microphone. I mean, I came in when it came to the escargo. I knew what I was saying. I don't know if he heard me or not, but he sure got the sucker out in one shot either way. Yes, if it was me was or good. not, I'm proud of that him. That was very good. You know good. what I'm saying? This is the game that you all lost, so who wasn't putting in their share? Actually, the, the only thing that scares me, and Alan, it's, it's you, is that I'm worried about you handling under pressure. I, I know everybody doesn't do good, and I know I didn't do great, but it, it scared, you scare me under pressure. Yeah, I get a little bit nervous, it's true. But as far as working as a team and everything, I'm ready for that. I mean, the only thing I see here with some trouble is Lakeisha's a very powerful person. I'm it's a strong Latricia. person as is. Latricia, I know, I'm sorry. Okay. 
It's too much of a power thing and I don't need a mother. Quite a few members of our team have had um, personal fracas with her. They've had personal what? Personal fracas. Um, personal conflicts in our downtime, but it's still important if we're going to get on as a team at the apartment that we all try to get along. Um, actually, I haven't had conflict or fricas with team members. It's actually been with her, and it's been because she wants somebody to babysit her and put her on this pedestal. She walks around in these little bitty skirts, raising her legs, and we're seeing her behind all day. And I'm sorry I just wasn't raised that way. Just you have to be a little careful with the sexuality. During the day, you know, I'm strictly all about the team, but in our downtime at night, yes, I will walk around in short skirts. And that's fine, but and no one should be subjected to see your behind all day. Well, I don't think they see my behind all day. I think that I just have a good pair of legs and I just like to show them off. The power struggles are definitely going to affect this game. Who is holding the team back? Well, as far as contributing to the microphone, I mean, nothing personal, Alan, but no, I, know I would have to say it was Alan. After you had the conversation and you said everything about the wine, right. it was basically done my, our part. You felt you that your job most. was yeah, done. Cor oh, correct, and we worked as a team together. But Jabe didn't do a good job with that. He we messed tried, up. But you know what? She tried everything when she was talking to so him. So he just wasn't listening. I just think he was nervous. Do any of you have any final thoughts? Yes, Latricia. I don't consider this a game. I consider this as my lifeline for my son and myself. Any one last thing, anyone? All right, on that note, I'm going to be making a list. And one of you will not be on that list. I want to thank you all for your honesty. I have a little thinking to do, and I'll see you back here in a little while. The person that I feel will, should be eliminated is Alan, but the person that I think may be eliminated is myself. I was very upset when Latricia pulled uh, the way I dress out of the bag. I know she has issues with it. She's obviously very jealous. It's, it's a competition, and I just realized we are here for one reason, and the reason I'm here is to win. Welcome back. Across the hall, Team Park is enjoying our celebration dinner. In my hand is a list of the members from your team that'll continue on with us. When you hear your name, please go join your friends in the dining room. The first name on my list is Jack A. Congratulations. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you again. How do you feel? Relieved. And the next person on my list is Anne. Congratulations. Okay. The next person on our list is Johnny. Congratulations. And the next person on my list, Jabe. Congratulations. Go Thank join you. your friends. Put your shoulders back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, clearly, you three, there's a lot of conflict here. Somehow it's worked its way into the challenge and has ruined your chance for success. As we move forward, you've got to work things out. The next person on my list is Yvette. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Two people left. Latricia, some people have said that you're very bossy. In this world, you do get a lot more bees with honey. Alan, you hardly said a word. And in this town, New York, 
You really have to show your stuff to get noticed. The last name on this list is Latricia. God dog it, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Congratulations. Alan, darling, I'm sorry you're not on the list. Well, thank you for having me here. It has been a pleasure, and I enjoy myself. And I really, I wish you the best thank of luck. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you, too. OK. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I feel like I want this and need this more than the next person because it's not just me I'm thinking about. It's me and my son. This is about my son's education. This is about teaching him things that I wouldn't have been able to teach him had I not made this journey. Oh I wish I could have stayed longer and I could have learned a little bit more about high society. They're probably happy because they were scared of competition. <sighs> with her invitation list complete, Kathy Hilton concludes the evening with a dinner to celebrate her protege on completing their first step into high society. Congratulations, Thank you're you. all on the list. Thank you. Here's to your first challenge, and here's to the good life. To the good life.